Okay, this is about calculating the x and y values for features in your map. And I have here um, some, some points, uh, some transect lines, and some polygons. And I'm going to show you what you can do with something called geometry calculator. And um, if we bring up the attribute table for points, what you may need to do, this is an attribute table for a shape file and you would have to do the same thing in a uh, feature class because these particular fields I'm adding are not automatically generated in a feature class. So we're going to generate first a new field to store the x and y values. So we can put this as x value for the point, make it a double, and accept that. And do the same thing so we can store a y value. Call it y value, change it to a double, there. Now, it's very straightforward now uh, with, to calculate your x and y values for each of those points. And what you do is it's similar to um, calculating anything in a field. You right click on the field name, in this case x value will do first, and we get the context menu. And if we go down to here where it says calculate geometry and bring that up, we get a new dialog. And that dialog will allow us to calculate the x coordinate of the point or the y coordinate of a point. So since we're x value, we'll grab x coordinate of a point, and it allows us to calculate it either in its uh, the data source coordinate system or the coordinate system of the data frame, and then we can alter units as we want. So if we want feet, fine, if we can do meters and so forth, whatever units you desire. And then hit OK, and it will calculate the the x value for all the points. And we do the same thing for the y values. Calculate geometry again, just change the x point to y coordinate of point, leave this, everything else the same, and there you go. So now it's part of the shapefile attribute table in this case. It would be part of the feature class attribute table if that's what we were doing in a geodatabase. You can ship that out. You can uh, go up to the your um, options and uh, hit export and send it out to text file, whatever you want. Now, the same thing goes for transects. We have some transects here. And if I look at the attribute tables for that, I've already gone ahead and created the X and Y. Things are a little different. When we go to calculate an X value on a transect or a line, it will give us some other options. Those options are I can calculate the length of the line. In this case, obviously, since I put in X value and Y value, I don't need that. And also, if we were running, if we were using feature classes inside a geodatabase, the length would automatically be calculated for us. But we can do the x coordinate and y coordinates of the beginning of the line, the end of the line, and the midpoint on the line. So let's just do the midpoint and see what we get. We do that, and we do the same thing here. So these are some of the options you have for getting coordinates uh, off of your um, map for each of the features in your map. And finally, polygons, open that one up. Uh, again, I've gone ahead and created the fields. With polygons, if we right-click on the field to calculate and go down to Calculate Geometry, we then have options such as Area. Since it's a polygon, we can calculate Area and Perimeter. And again, these two are unnecessary in a geodatabase because those will be calculated for you automatically. However, we can calculate the X value of the coordinate of the centroid and the Y, and we'll do that as well. Same thing for the centroid, for the uh, the y value for the centroid. Go there, calculate, change this to y coordinate of the centroid, and leave it in our units. It's that easy to grab coordinates from your uh, features, put them into a table, and then into the attribute table and spit them out.